Janelle Evans and David officially separated. Janelle filed paperwork on February 16th with the intent for the separation to be permanent. Janelle had a list of reasons why she filed for separation. A few of them are David's erratic behavior, substance abuse, his refusal to work, and he excessively spends her money and makes her life intolerable with his drinking. Recently on TikTok Live, David said the opposite. He said Janelle doesn't want him to have a job. It's weird that all of y'all, none of y'all just want me to have a job, including your, your friend, don't want me to have a job, but want to talk shit saying, oh, he doesn't make enough money. Oh, because I don't make it as much as you. The public found out about Janelle's separation through court documents obtained by The Sun. Once the news broke on the internet, Janelle made a TikTok and an Instagram reel revealing that yes, separation is true. And this is how she told her fans and her viewers about the separation. Janelle wrote, can I get some appreciation? New chapter unlocked. Janelle proceeds to dance and sing to the song by Lady Gaga called Applause. Then she gives herself a round of applause and says, I filed for separation. Viewers left comments saying, just please don't take him back. Escape the cycle once and for all. We will celebrate when it's actually final. Time to call Kiefer. But you told us for years how great he is. Imagine announcing your marriage separation this immaturely. This is how preteens act. And someone on TikTok said, maybe skip the separation and just go straight for the divorce. And Janelle responded to this comment. She made a video explaining the steps she has to take in order to officially get a divorce from David. I would have skipped straight to divorce, but I couldn't because in the state of North Carolina, you have to be legally separated for a year. And um, you have to prove that you have two separate addresses. I filed something called separation by bed and board. If you go look it up, it basically protects assets and property and stuff like that. So Janelle said, if you're separated in North Carolina, but say you see each other one night, you hook up, but then the next morning you're like, no, we're not doing this. This is not working out. That starts the clock all over again. So North Carolina does not want people who are separated hooking up. In the paperwork that Janelle filed in court to legally separate from David, Janelle asked that David pay her child support for their daughter. Janelle is also asking the judge to require David to undergo a mental health evaluation before he's allowed to visit their daughter. Janelle declared herself to be a fit and proper person to have primary physical custody of their daughter. Janelle went on to say that she was the parent who primarily took care of their daughter and that she has been and continues to be an engaged parent who devotes her time, energy, effort, and resources to her family, the court paperwork reads. Janelle also added David has an anger problem, which has made their home an uncomfortable place to raise children. David's excessive alcohol use and his short temper creates a negative environment for our daughter. And as a family, Janelle feels they have to walk on eggshells around David. And his mood swings are unpredictable and vary in their intensity, Janelle wrote. Because of this, Janelle is asking the judge to order David to get a mental health evaluation before he's allowed to visit with their daughter. She asked the court to force David to submit a psychological evaluation to determine if he's a fit parent. Janelle is also asking the court to demand David to start working, something he hasn't done for years, despite being physically able to work. Janelle said David is capable of providing child support for their daughter to meet her reasonable needs. She would like David to contribute to their daughter's out-of-pocket medical insurance costs as well as her counseling and tutoring expenses. Janelle is also asking the judge to award her the family family home on the land. David has yet to respond in court to Janelle's filings. However, on Tuesday, he took to his Facebook page to threaten to air out Janelle's dirty laundry. The post was quickly deleted, though. David wrote, y'all want to see more of Janelle's dirty laundry? It's all about to be aired out. But warning, she hasn't done laundry in seven months or so. Before deleting the post, David took a shot at Janelle's parenting skills in the comments section. One person wrote, she's still your daughter's mother. David responded, I wouldn't call her a mother. David is currently living on their boat at the marina. 
And he went on TikTok Live and spilled some tea about Janelle. He said Janelle doesn't like any of his friends and that he's so happy now that he can hang around his friends again now that Janelle's not around. I am so happy to have my old friends back that she pushed out of my life. Nobody want to come around me because of her. She doesn't like nobody. She has a problem with every single person, every friend of mine, every family member of mine. She's pushed them all out of my life. I'm sick of her not letting me go to work, not letting me go to my friend's house. David says Janelle won't let him go fishing, play pool, or even to the store. If he goes to the store, she accuses him of cheating. Or getting topped off, whatever you want to call it. All that type of stuff. I'll be gone for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And next thing you know, shit his f***ing fan, dude. David also says he was Netflixing and chilling with some double Ds last night. Because I love double Ds. Yo, I was Netflixing and chilling with some double Ds last night. Let me tell you. Janelle responds to this comment from a viewer saying, David talked about drinking milk from big jugs last night and tender. And Janelle responds by saying, just let him talk. Who cares? Just let him talk. Y'all just let him talk. Just let him talk. It's all good. It's all good. Um, I'm just going to sit here, continue to mind my own business. Um, take care of my kids. Um, he can continue to harass me. Try to show up at my house every day with cops text me horrible mean texts every day um i mean take my things i mean the list goes on and on and on what nobody knows janelle also said she's not here to spew everything and if you're on tiktok her video pops up if you search big milk jug picture janelle posted a screenshot of this search and she said, I'm done with y'all laughing emoji. Janelle also says she expected him to go online and bash her. And she's okay if he moved on because if he moved on, that's fine with her because he'll leave her alone. You know what? If he did move on, that's okay. It's fine with me. I hope he did. So he leaves me alone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just here at home being a mom. Janelle posted this to Instagram like, I don't get it. Why do you have to mention my name at least once a day? Wish he would leave me alone. And David said, I lost almost 100,000 followers last time me and Janelle got back together after splitting up. Now they're going up again. Finally. Thanks, y'all. A lot of people online don't think this is actually going to happen. They don't think the divorce will happen. They think Janelle will take him back. As always, what are your thoughts on this? Leave a comment. For more Janelle Evans drama videos, check out this one next. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.